Good day, Nashville. Yes, indeed. And the world. We see you out there. Ooh, the world is here. Uh, Ooh, cool. Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Michael J. Nelson. Thank you, thank you. There's a couple of guys with me, guys. My name is Bill. <laughs> My name is Bill Corbett. How are you? And although I'm dressed up like a retired Trader Joe's employee, I am Kevin Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> and we are very pleased. The, the horrifying part is more comes off during the course of the night, yeah. Gets, gets bad. Oh, we should have rehearsed this, I guess. I did not know that was part of it. Oh, how... Well, thank you. This is the final episode of The Crappening. Uh, so we're very excited to have Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. We also have a bunch of new shorts this evening. And I am very thrilled uh, to have the star of, the, uh, of our main feature, The Ice Cream Bunny, is with us this evening. So uh, thank you. Hello, Ice Cream Bunny. Twice, in fact. There are two Ice Cream Bunnies. One was a stunt bunny. Uh, Two bunnies. Let them fight! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> For the joy and love of Christmas, we will pit them in blood sport before the end of the night. <laughs> uh, well, before we start the show, guys, you know I love Christmas. You know you, I love you dressing up. I tried to bring some whimsy to the stage when I came out. Did you see the whimsy going on there, man? I was wondering what that was. Like, people, people know me as a whimsical guy. Yeah. And if you don't think I am whimsical, I will see you in court about that. Yeah. Because that's important to me, man. It so I wanted to share it with you guys. I went to a place. It wasn't quite Party City. It was like Party uh, Municipality or something. Yeah. A party District. I think I've been there. Yeah, I think it was a front for the uh, Ukrainian mob as well. But they have good stuff. So I wanted to give you some possibilities to wear during the show. Oh, that's um, very sweet of you. Well, we have... Well, the... the, the Sunglasses I came out with, Mike. No, no, I think no, no. those are not. Those are uh, actually my prescription glasses. Oh, been rooting around in my suitcase again, haven't you? I was wondering. And you yes. all year round, you have Christmas trees on them. I do. I, I went to uh, Elton John's garage sale, <laughs> and uh, that was back in the period when we, he uh, was not Donald Ducking that's it. That's right. All right. We have the same prescription. So I got thank elf you. ears here. Anybody want to be an elf? I, let, let, let's demonstrate, Mike. Give me a little Aragorn here. What your elf is here, Bill? <laughs> They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> I hear it with my one elf ear. And um, there go the antlers. And then we have, I don't know, there was this weird little character I found. It's probably a Ukrainian uh, Christmas mascot. The little yellow Christmas rat. Yeah. I assume. That's either Herbie or Pikachu, I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, oh, 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 he has a name? Is that a Ukrainian name, Pikachu? <laughs> yes, Bill. <laughs> and Kevin, you might enjoy this Christmas bib, my first Christmas. Yeah, because it there is. Go, I think you can just magic marker the word sober in there, first sober Christmas. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wouldn't be my first sober Christmas, and it won't be That's my That's actually good, because a lot of times carrots just fall out of Kevin's beard and <laughs> during the show. So. The Aaron uh, Cornishon drops down. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Good for the dandruff. Anyway, too. join me in my whimsy, guys. All right? I, I I'm feel, serious about this whimsy. I feel much more whimsical. All right, Thank you, Bill. I'm whimsical as hell. I'm going to wear this until I, uh, the sweat collects and just drips <laughs> off. It'll be beautiful. And, guys, ho, ho, ho. All right? <laughs> yeah, it's very clever. <laughs> Thank you, Flava Flav. It's kind of Deal. saucy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's introduce let's... our first uh, short here. It is a very, very old short. As a matter of fact, I think it was filmed on parchment. <laughs> it is the oldest one we have. And strangely, you're going to find through the night that this one is the most traditional Christmas story. Yes, indeed. You're going to see tonight. Yes. So, if we could, let's roll Santa, Santa Claus's Claus story. story. Yeah, possessive. Fair warning, folks. Santa's story is Ron Weasley fanfic. <laughs> Erotic as hell. Our story is shot on wax cylinder. <laughs> and what a story it was. Good night, everybody. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Because if they did, they'd get the belt. Not even a mouse. 
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Santa Claus's story is set during the Van Buren administration. Oh, Dunder. Whoa, Blitzen. Oh, crap. I owe Blitzen two G's. It's Santa Claus. I don't believe it. Oh, my God. It's called Pascal's Wager, silly. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so much easier at the poor family's houses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be laughing if you could see Mrs. Claus and the elves right about now. Oh, Hello, Virginia. Hello, Jackie. Oh, you know our name? Because he said it's up, fast, pal. Now, lad, don't make me call Krampus. Well, he's not a real Santa Claus. Aren't you real? Come here, children. Come on, Jackie. Approach the intruder without question, kid. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm really Santa Claus. And I want you to believe in me. Now, where does Mom keep the, the silver? Who don't believe in Santa Claus. Miss the joy of Christmas. Tell us a story, Santa. Tell you a story? Certainly. I'll tell you about the monkey's Christmas. Ooh, sure, the monkey's a Christmas. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, monkeys don't have a Santa Claus. Indeed, they do. <laughs> Monkeys, you know, are very much like human beings in many ways. And sometimes they do the very same things that we do. Why, here's a monkey Black Friday stampede. In the spring, they like to get out in the open. And there is a place called Monkey Mountain. No, I get the mountain part, but always sunshine <laughs> and monkey shine. There are good monkeys and bad monkeys. But here is Charlie. A good little monkey who likes pretzels. Ugh, can we go and one Christmas without like the story of the Charlie water. the pretzel monkey Charlie getting jammed down our throats? <laughs> but the selfish monkeys want to get Charlie's pretzel the easy way. And no matter how he tries, he can't get away from those bad monkeys. Bad he monkeys like Peter Tork? Oh my. But when it comes to bananas, He's a all nice monkeys man. make pigs of themselves. Even Charlie's in there getting his share. Gobbling up skins and all. And then, city of Bethlehem, born unto thee a savior, yada yada, you kids know the rest. Okay. <laughs> You've seen people like that, who don't want to give anybody else a chance. Oh well, it's all in fun. <laughs> Great moral, Aesop! Well, eating too fast and too much lands this fellow right into the doctor's office. <laughs> Serve him right. Open wide now. You, uh, you folks monkeys really feeling the holiday monkeys. spirit right about now? Yeah. Sometimes monkeys catch cold. So like good little monkeys, they <laughs> take a hot foot bath before going to bed. If sick monkeys do what they're told, they get well quickly. Shocking hidden footage from inside the Campbell's soup factory. Oh yeah, that's not just salt in there. That's good for all of us to know. Isn't it? Santa, what in loving Santa, hell are you talking about? What it's... else do I know about <laughs> Oh, yes. Monkeys celebrate other holidays, too. Like Lysmas and the Festival of Flinging. But, after all, ducking for apples is the hard way. It's easier to pick them out. And on Halloween night, they dress yeah. up in funny costumes and wear masks. Just as you do. This little fellow went as Guy Fox this year. But you were going to tell us about the monkey Christmas and about the monkey Santa Claus. Yeah. Here, Santa, please tell us more. Well, let's see. How about a PowerPoint presentation, when Santa? Calls, man, <laughs> Focus, even man. The bad monkeys try to be good. And they even get all prettied up for the Christmas holidays. Do you buy that or? <laughs> the girl monkeys put on their nicest dresses and hats. Try to look their best. The boy monkeys see that their hair is cut and their fingernails are trimmed and polished. Well, well, well. That soap must taste pretty good. He wants more. Ugh, can we go one Christmas without the story of Soapy the monkeys Soap Monkey getting jammed down our throats? <laughs> but these monkeys have heard all about Santa Claus and how he comes down the chimney. Uh -huh. They can't have a chimney unless they have a house. 
so there's nothing else to do but build a house. Even though they were drummed out of the Mason reunion for their shoddy brick handling. Look at them. Oh God, I knew using a stick to get ants would lead to this. No children, that's not mortar. Something tells me that it's whipped cream, or he wouldn't be taking such a big portion. Yep, nothing says Christmas like watching a chimp lick dripping goo. And then the great day arrives, and down the chimney comes the monkey Santa Claus. I was so hungover, man. What okay. time is in store for those good little monkeys? Toys galore, and a Jeez. whole room uh, filled with surprises. Yeah, I left some surprises in your stocking, all right. <laughs> you, you implying poop? Always. always. <laughs> yeah, nothing good ever came from giving a monkey a drum. <laughs> so you see, children, monkeys are very much like you in many ways. Except one. What way is that? They know they're monkeys, but you don't. Santa, you're kind of a dick, aren't you? No, I'm not a monkey. But you are really Santa Claus, aren't you? Virginia, I'm going to answer your question by telling you what to say to any of your little friends who lose the wonderful spirit. Where's he going with this? <laughs> they do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible to their little minds. All Holy minds crap, Santa but is insane! Children are little. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Santa's plagiarism scandal dominated the North Pole tabloids. And generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. That's but Santa's neighbor's dog Santa dictating Claus, this to him. You might as well not believe in fairies. Nobody sees Santa Claus. But that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. So Santa's like the bacteria. The most things in the world are those that neither men nor children can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Yeah, that's what my dad said of when my theater not. group came over for a cookout. That's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders. Mayday, mayday! Oh, wait, I'm fine. Mayday, I'm bail out, bail out! Oh, no, I'm good again. Mayday, help me! Oh. You can tell no, about the babies rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world, which not the strongest man... Yep, Santa's one step away from scrawling an angry manifesto in a cabin somewhere. ...and terrified. Uh, yeah, I heard Only you about Timmy faith. down the well. That's and his problem. Poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Santa, you have oh, half a sardine in your beard. <laughs> world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Oh, sure, I'm ready to retire. <laughs> and he lives forever. <laughs> a thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. So in conclusion, chimps, am I right? Fun, huh? Oh, come and watch the monkeys. Oh, come and watch the monkeys. Oh, come and watch the monkeys. And Christmas with Santa Claus. Oh, that's right. that just sort of... Sort of Sort of drops off a clip there. <laughs> Rather abrupt. Yeah. Ah, Santa Claus's story. What a tale that old man weaves, huh? I tell you, man. <laughs> wow. Captivating. I like the way he, he sets you up and then he brings it to an unexpected it's point. Really... It's like, wow, how did we get there? Mm -hmm. And then yep. vaguely insults the children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. It's, I'm all for that. Sorry, kids watching out in the theater there.